Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today we're going to talk about how to connect a Mitsubishi GOT over Ethernet to a Mitsubishi PLC. This will cover GT12, GT14, GT15, and GT16 terminals. In front of me I have a GT15 series HMI, which means that an Ethernet port is not built into the terminal. In that case I have an Ethernet card attached and I'm communicating to a Q-series PLC via an Ethernet module known as the QJ71 E71-100. These are the two most important settings on the GOT. You have your Ethernet setup and your channel setup. For the Ethernet setup, you need to make sure that your network number and your PLC number are configured correctly. For the network number, set this to 1. This needs to match in the channel settings the GOT network number. Make sure these are the same. Now for the PLC number, this needs to match your PLC. In the Ethernet settings here on the GOT, this is referring to your PLC. Your PLC number has to be different from the GOT PLC number. So if I go into channel here, you can see my GOT PLC number is 1. For the controller, it's 2. Now for the type, you select what you're communicating to. You have a drop down here with many options. If you're using FX, select FX. If you're using a built-in Ethernet port on an IQ platform PLC, you select QNUDEH. In my case, I'm using an Ethernet module. You then you set your IP address. This needs to match the setting in the PLC. And the port number, leave this alone as well as the communication protocol setting. In the channel setting for the GOT, you need to make sure that your driver has been selected correctly. Make sure that you select for Ethernet on a queue, make sure you select this option here. And your controller type, make sure that you have that selected as well in accordance with the controller that you have connected. And for your interface, for GT12, GT14, and GT16 terminals, the standard interface includes an Ethernet setting. For a GT15 terminal, you need to select the extension interface. And your IP address, everything needs to match the PLC all the way up until the last digits here. The 18 needs to be different from the PLC. So again, here 18 is different from 50. Make sure those are different. Now another way of seeing this information is to go to the help menu select manual index. From here you can select the GOT1000 series connection manual for Mitsubishi products. Inside of this manual, if you scroll down here on the bookmark menu, you can select Ethernet connection and then you can select your PLC side settings. In my case, I'm using an Ethernet module Q series. This diagram here gives you a nice overview of the setup you're using. So you have your network number matching the network number on the PLC. And for PLC number, the PLC number for the GOT is different from the PLC number for the Ethernet module. Very important. And again, you can see these IP addresses are similar except for the last digits, 18 and 19. Leave the port number alone and leave the communication format alone. And on the PLC side for the PLC program, for the Ethernet module, make sure your I.O. settings match your parameter settings. So again, in your Ethernet settings here, you would select your network numbers 1 and the station number. On the PLC side, it's known as the station number. It's not the PLC number, it's called station number. 2 needs to match the 2 for the PLC number on the GOT. And lastly, for the operation settings, configure your IP address everything else can remain the same. Other than that, everything should be straightforward. Make sure you refer to that manual for further information specifically related to an FX connection. If you're using a built-in Ethernet port on a Mitsubishi PLC, you need to have a UDP MELSOFT connection open for every GOT you have connected. It's recommended not to overload the built-in Ethernet port on the PLC. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day.